Hey Dylan, this is uh, Steve Lloyd. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it and, and hit the share so a lot of people can get some value out of this. So this morning I just want to talk about investing and how in my investings and my passive life of investing can, um, can really take care of your bills and your expenses. So one of the things I started doing about five years ago is I just took a sheet of paper, yellow sheet of paper, grabbed the pen, and on the left, left hand side, I put my bills. So that was my mortgage, my car payment, insurance, my cell phone, electric bill, water bill, any, any kind of expense. And then I took the average of my, um, my entertainment expenses. I put everything on the left hand side. And that number could have been, you know, maybe $10,000 a month. So it's really good to do that exercise because then you really see what you're spending every month. Uh, I know so many people that just spend and they have all these bills and they go, I don't have enough money, um, I need to make more money, where really if they just got organized, everything's getting organized, having a plan, seeing what's going on, and maybe checking your car insurance, your rates, you're with your best friend and your rates suck because he's taking advantage of you. Uh, maybe you get to see what your water bill is, what your electric bill is, you see how high it is. Uh, maybe you, uh, you know, turn off some of those lights more at month, but it's all about creating a plan to create your wealth. So what I do is on the left hand side, I put all my bills on the left hand side and let's hypothetically say that that's $10,000. And then what I started doing years ago is I just looked at one of my investments and I put that on the right hand side and that investment might have been making me $100 a month or $200 a month. And when I'm doing that, when I'm, when I'm creating that uh, the passive income on the right hand side through your investments and the expenses. I continue to look at it every single month. Even if the, even if on the right side, your passive income only goes up $50 or goes down $50. If it's your tying it to mutual funds, I, I look at it every single month at the end of the month. And I make sure I go through my QuickBooks and I take a look at all my expenses to see if I have any new ones, whether it goes up and down. And then I put that time and effort in, I want you to still pick a date every month where you look at it. Usually a good time is around the 20th of the month. All your bills are you know, coming in and you're taking care of those bills by like the 15th of the month. So pick a date like you know, three quarters of the way into the month, but pick that date, put an alert on your phone and make sure you really concentrate it on every month. You know, It's just like if you wait four months to look at it, it's not gonna be as helpful as if you look at it every month because things might adjust on a monthly basis and you might have to rearrange things. So, you know, really pay attention to it on a monthly basis. Three months later, it's gonna get better. A year, it's gonna be better. And wait till you see what happens over a five or six year, five to six year period. It's just all about getting started, okay? So everyone goes, I want more passive income. Your real estate, and most of your investments aren't really passive, right? A lot of them grow and they create equity, you pay down the mortgages, but I do mortgage notes, I lend people money on real estate deals, um, even I have some mutual funds and I even put that on the right-hand side. So when I take one of my investments and I put it on the right-hand side and it's making me $100 a month, I got started. So now it doesn't seem like much, but you got $10,000 worth of expenses and now you made an investment and that investment is making you $100 a month. And now you, uh, working towards that passive life, you only have 9,900 more to go. But over the years, over a five to six year period, if you concentrate on this, promise me, I did it. I mean, this is how I'm creating my wealth. You know, one little thing at a time. This seems so small, but I'm telling you, it's so big. It's a huge part of how I created my wealth. So then I just made another investment and that investment might have been making me $200 a month. Now I have 300. And as I started to build up my IRAs and my regular savings and I started making a return on that, I did some more private lending, I made some more money nine months later, then I would really concentrate on making another passive investment where I eventually got up to $1,000 a month. Still doesn't seem like much. 
but maybe a year and a half later, I got it to 2,000 and I made another investment. So now you're paying attention to something and you're concentrating on something. What you don't concentrate is not gonna grow your wealth. You need to concentrate on your mutual funds and your passive income. It's so funny when I talk about money and I ask someone if they have a 401k or an IRA, they get nervous. I ask them what their fund manager name is. I ask them what their, their fund fees are. I even ask them what kind of stocks they own. Are they in an international fund? Are they in the S&P 500? I ask them if they know about self-directed IRAs. They know nothing. That's 98% of the population. That's why not everyone is creating wealth. It's because they don't concentrate it and they might be embarrassed about it at the time, at the moment that they're in. But I can tell you, I've helped so many people do this and six months to a year, they thank me so much because just about concentrating on it and getting started. So when you get to that third and fourth year, if you're concentrating on over those years, it's really gonna be a big benefit and you're gonna get the 4,000. And then you're gonna get the $6,000 worth of passive income. And look, maybe your expenses came down to maybe nine or 8,000 as the years go on. You pay a couple of things off. So you never know where it's gonna end up, but it's gonna end up good if you still keep making passive investments and really concentrate on getting that to six and $7,000. It may take you six, seven, eight, nine years to do, but you know, once you get to that point, that's when I knew I had financial freedom. And why did I have financial freedom? Because my passive income investments are now paying for the expenses in my life. And today, I'm way past my investments or way more greater than what my expenses are every, um, every month. Now, the cool thing is, what does that do for me? I don't have to make any money this month in my jobs that I do. Um, I don't have to do another real estate deal or put pressure on me. That's why I'm kind of living the life that I am in Siesta Key, because I don't have to go crazy and try to make all kinds of money for the month to pay for my expenses. So it's a methodical thing to do, but there's many lessons to be learned when you're doing this exercise. And now today, as I'm making my regular money, I really concentrate on if I sell an apartment building or if I sell one of my pieces of real estate that I bought 13 years ago, if I go and buy something, let's just say I go buy a car and my car payment's $400 a month, or it might be $1,000 a month. Well, I might take $100,000 that I have, right? I go and make an investment and get a uh, a 10%, a 12% return when I lend private capital, that's $1,000 a month. So I'll t instead of using that money to buy a car or something that I want, I'll make a passive investment in some type of note or apartment building where I might be getting a preferred return in an apartment building or a piece of real estate, take that $1,000 and not put any money towards that car, which you know right now we're at two and 3% interest rates, when I go and I make that investment for a hundred grand, that thousand dollars a month, that more than pays for that car that I just bought. And I don't have to worry about going to work and, and, and working for a living. Working for a living is when you're working to pay those bills. And I promise you, as you grow this, especially if you're 25 or 30, 35 or 40, I'm working with a lot of 20 year olds just to get them start it. It's all about starting. And that's the most important thing that I teach people, getting started, simplicity, not making any crazy investments. Um, you know, the mutual funds and the dollar cost average are good for a short period of time just to get 20 or 30 or $40,000 in there. But then I'm a big proponent to switching to alternative investments where you can make a lot higher consistent return. So that's really the lesson for today. You know, creating wealth by taking your investments, making a rate of return, creating passive income to pay for the expenses um, that you have in your life. Um, cutting back those expenses, growing your passive wealth, concentrate on your passive wealth. It's so important. Just get started. If you need help, I'll show you the way. Thank you so much for listening to my video. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube videos. Many more to come. Have a great day.